the Union Cemetery back there. Fix my head. There we go. Hey, it's Griffin Sarah, and we're at the Meeting Hill House. Take two. Hey, it's Griffin Sarah, and we're at the Meeting House Hill Cemetery. In Brattleboro, Vermont. <laughs> Is that where we are? <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. Where are we going? Uh, you're sort of some of these doors and shit. Like it's me. Did you? There it is. There we go. Sorry. Person behind it. Alright, where are we going? We yeah. are going to the Quaker Meeting House Cemetery yep. in West Brattleboro. Okay. And what I'm curious about is whether or not, because it's a meeting house, whether it might have some of those cool sun faces that we saw at the meeting house in Roxbury. What is it? Uh, Rockingham. Rockingham. The Rockingham Carver. Yeah, there's another place that they were. I can't remember what it is. Chester, Vermont. All right. Well, is this in the, just down the street, or we uh, got to go no, into we're town? Not, yeah. Oh, well, we'd have to go through town, and then we got to cut up on Orchard Street. But All right. Well, we're going to go see, check it out. See what we find. See what we got. Over here, let's see what we got. <clears throat> oh, these are beautiful. Look Pretty at good. that. 1797. I think she was 78. Yeah, right. yeah Josephine. Let me just bring you a lot of things. All right. Yeah. So you can see this beautiful stone, it's slate, and it's starting to cleave and come apart. And that's why it's so important to come out to these cemeteries and, and look at them and take pictures of them and honor them before they're gone. This is, you know, could be flat and gone. Fine. Two daughters. Well, Sarah died in October. October 16th, 1779. And it looks like, I don't, I can't read the name. Still hear you though, All right, well, this is a beautiful angel face. Gosh, 1782, right there. Yep. Beautiful, okay. Here's a little baby, Willard, son of Dr. Lemuel and Mrs. Lucinda Dickerman, who died March 30th, 1795. Memory of Major John Arms, Esquire, who departed this life March 6th, 1770. 70, I'm sorry, 48th year of his age. Marble, look how it's washing away. That's acid rain for you. All right, I can't see it when you have your shadow on it, unfortunately. Here lies the body of Captain Joseph Williams, formerly a Lieutenant Marshal in the town of Norwich in the state of Connecticut, who departed this life the 10th day of January, looks like 1770, in the 66? 1776. Stone. Beneath this stone rests the mortal parts of Mr. Somebody Arms. Joseph. Joseph. Joseph's arms. No, oh, not not just his arms. The rest of them too. <laughs> Remember, guys, like. Yeah. <laughs> Remember, guys, like and subscribe. What? <laughs>